Hello, this is Paul from QuickenMobile.com, and as you can see, we have an Air Hawk Power Folding Wheelchair and a Phoenix, brand new in 2022 Phoenix Power Folding Wheelchair. Both chairs are the 2022 models, and we are going to put both of these chairs in this video to the comparison. So if you're thinking about getting a portable folding chair, whether it's an Airhawk or whether it's a Phoenix or whether it's something else entirely, you definitely will want to take note of this video. And of course, I have measuring tape as well. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the video, this is a great opportunity to pause the video to learn where to find us on the internet, quicknmobile.com. We have plenty of information about both of the chairs that we're featuring on our website. And yes, we are a United States company. You're welcome to give us a telephone call as well. Okay, so let's get into the chairs. The Airhawk here, without the batteries, it's been coined as the world's latest chair. It weighs 41 pounds without the batteries. Each battery weighs five pounds. So with both batteries in the chairs, 51 pounds. The Phoenix weighs 44 pounds with no batteries, but with both batteries in, the batteries are only eight pounds per battery. It only weighs 52 pounds. So there's only a one pound difference between these two chairs. They both hold 265 pounds. Uh, this one, however, has a two 180 watt motors. This one has two 250 watt motors. So the Phoenix has more power. Now let's take a look at actually unfolding the chairs. So first I'm going to unfold the Airhawk. So there's a few steps and there's a couple things that I want to point out before we even unfold the chair. Now with the Airhawk, when people fold it up, the arms fold behind the chair and the joystick is attached and you can see that the joystick hits the back caster. So this would be something that if you're storing it in the trunk, you would want to take the joystick off basically every time. Now if we take a look at the Phoenix, the Phoenix has a joystick that it, the arms are, are situated differently. So you, you could take the joystick off still, and if you're traveling in a plane, obviously you definitely want to take it off, but you don't need to take it off every single time because it's not hitting rubbing on anything. So the Airhawk, let's unfold it. Very simple, takes about five seconds to unfold. We connect the back part, we unfold the footrest, we store the cushion underneath the chair. Sometimes the joystick turns on while I unfold it, so I'm gonna turn it off. And let's take a look in the back of the chair. There is a wire that I'm going to pull that locks it into place. I'm going to go ahead and put the cushion on the Airhawk, fold the other arm over, and the Airhawk is ready to go. So let's unfold the Phoenix. That's it, it's done, it's unfolded, it's ready to go. So let's take a look at both of these chairs here and compare how you would get in the chair. Now as you can see, before we go into how to get into the chair, the Airhawk is right now in what's called freewheel mode. You can see I'm able to move it around with just one hand, it's very easy to move around. I can operate this very simply as a push chair and we take a look at the back of the chair. These are 180 watt motors and we have the 8 inch rear wheels. Now you can see something here in the back of the chair. Now it does have the kickstand or the anti-tip wheel assembly and we do have the reflectors for visibility at nighttime, but the chair plugs into one battery at a time. So that's something to keep in mind. So if this battery runs out and you're on the go, you're going to have to go behind the chair and you're going to have to plug the battery in. And sometimes it requires slightly jostling the other battery to move it up maybe a millimeter or so. And of course I can lock this. You can see that the chair doesn't move anymore. And that's how we turn it into a motorized chair. And of course, if I want to fold the chair, I have to reach underneath the seat and kind of use this wire to unlock the back of the chair so I can start unfolding it. 
Okay, so the Phoenix, it's a little bit different here. Let's take a look here. It's, it's really the same thing. It's just as easy to be a push chair. It's very easy for me to kind of maneuver the Phoenix around. And if we take a look at the actual back of the chair, it's going to look from the lower part very similar to the Air Hawk. Okay, so it, it does have the brushless electromagnetic motors, two 250 watt motors, 500 watts total. Now the Airhawk does have electromagnetic brushless motors, a more frictionless environment for operating, and both chairs do feature weather resistant motors. Does that mean that you can take them in the river? Are they shower chairs? No, absolutely not. But if it's raining, if it's moist out, do you not drive the chair? It's no problem to drive the chair in those particular conditions. And these chairs do have, the Phoenix has the anti-tip or the kickstand wheel assembly behind it. The same thing if I want to move the Phoenix into a power chair, I just lock it and then I can turn the joystick on, which we'll do in a little bit. Now the Phoenix, if I want to fold it, it's a little bit different. There's a bar, a very easy to grab bar. I can grab the bar on really anywhere that I want. I just grab, I disengage the lock and then I can fold the chair, okay? Now that I've got this one folded up and this is very fresh in your mind, let's fold the air hawk up. So the first thing I want to do is take the cushion off so the chair properly folds. The cushion fits right on top of the basket underneath the chair. I'm going to grab the wire, disengage it. I'm going to grab the footrest, fold the chair up. Now the chair will stand on its own on the kickstand wheels, which is nice. I'm going to put the arms behind the chair. I want to make certain that I have the cushion in the right space so I can close the chair. And then the last part, and some people like this, I can kind of wheel this through the airport or wherever I want to go as a, a piece of luggage, but you do want to detach the joystick before you do that. Click these and there you go. So I can unfold that. Now, if I'm picking the chair up, I would grab the front of the footrest. A lot of people have to keep in mind, you know, this is 51 pounds with both batteries or 41 pounds with none. You still have that much weight. Now I'm either going to grab the footrest assembly or I'm going to grab the base of the chair and then I'm unfolding it. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and step six, the chair is open. So with the Phoenix to open the Phoenix, step one, the Phoenix is open, it's ready to go. Now let's take a look at the batteries. Keep in mind with the Air Hawk, I had mentioned that it operates from one battery at a time. So effectively, if you do not want a storage battery, the operating weight can be 46 pounds, but the same thing with the Phoenix. You can remove one of the batteries with the Phoenix and the chair will still function. So it's only gonna add an additional four pounds. Now the Phoenix, look at this button right here, okay? Here's a button right on side of the frame and I'm just going to sit in the chair just to kind of prove a point here about actual uh, simplicity and utility. That's it. That's the battery. And directly on the battery, I, I have a charging port that's in the front of the battery. And I have an indicator telling me how much juice I've got in the battery. On both chairs, this is a an FAA approved lithium ion dry cell battery and the Falcon or in the Phoenix, I'm sorry, and the Air Hawk. To put the batteries back in, very simple and we're ready to go. Now, speaking of getting in and getting out of the chair, you notice that the chair was in free wheel mode. I've locked the chair and let's go ahead and get both the Air Hawk and the Phoenix side by side and let's take a look at getting in. Now, the Phoenix, I can unlock the arms. Now, both of these chairs hold the same weight. They both have the same weight capacity, 265 pounds. Both chairs are great for indoor. 
Both chairs have the Sensi Touch joystick, which I will demonstrate in just a little bit. Both chairs are approximately the same overall width. Both chairs, you can drive them in grass, concrete, gravel, cobblestone roads. So the, the actual driving utility, very similar. Now, the arms of the Phoenix, they actually go entirely behind the chair. I'll put them just right beside the chair. The footrest of the Phoenix, it's very similar to some of the HD chairs that we have that hold up to 400 pounds. Example, the Eagle, the Falcon, and the Electra 7. Look at that, the footrest folds flush to the chair. So I can easily get in and I can easily get out of the chair with the footrest flush. Now the Airhawk, I can put the armrests up. I can put the armrests all the way behind the chair. But the footrest itself, that's as far up as the footrest go. So that's something that it's very important to know. Now I have made videos, and this would be a great opportunity if you're really contemplating these chairs to just click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel. We have so much content. We've done so many reviews and we continue to do reviews. So let's take a look here. There's a screw right on the inside of each side of the footrest here. So this part of the footrest detaches and it can reverse. So basically the footrest goes toward the back of the chair and that would of course decrease the actual space that you have to rest your feet, but it does make it easier for people to get in and out considering that folds flush to the chair and this doesn't. So that being said, with the Air Hawk, I'm going to have to straddle the footrest for a front mount or dismount and then put my feet back on and bring the arms in front of me. And let's take a look here at the arms. Now the chair itself, you can see that it is pliable. I'm approximately six feet tall. I weigh approximately 210 pounds right now. Getting out of this chair, I'm gonna to have to straddle the footrest and I'm going to have to kind of lean my body forward and just use the arms to help push off. I don't want to put all of my body's weight on the chair getting in the chair. And of course, I don't want to push down on the joystick. So take a look at this. The, the pliability factor here. The chair holds up to 265 pounds and you're right, I'm relatively able-bodied, you know, bar some aches and pains, but you can use a slide board and you can get out of the side of the chair, but getting at the front, my feet are on either side of that footrest and I have to be relatively careful. Now, the Phoenix, we'll, we'll put this in, in freewheel. It's, so simple to put these chairs in freewheel. And the Airhawk's a great chair. Don't get me wrong, the Airhawk is a great chair. It's got the title, the world's latest chair. It's an exceptionally popular chair. This is the chair that really started the whole boom for, and the whole demand for lightweight foldable chairs. Now the Phoenix, look at this. I'm right up to the chair. I can sit myself right down into the chair. And when I put the armrests down, I'm gonna lock them in place so they don't come off. I'm 210 pounds. Look what I can do. Now, I'm not gonna demonstrate this on the Airhawk. I have enough issues, little aches and pains that I don't need to create more for myself. I'm balancing my entire body's weight on the actual armrest of the chair. Now, the reason I feel comfortable doing that is because they're reinforced. And you can also notice that I can bear my weight down on this chair to get out. Look where my feet are. My feet are directly in front of the chair itself. Footrest is flush with the chair. So once I get into the chair, it's pretty easy for the footrest to drop down. I can press the power. It has a horn, adjustable speed, one to five miles per hour. It has a Sensi Touch joystick. What a Sensi Touch joystick means is that I can have the, the speed at any dynamic and I can push forward and you're going to hear the electromagnetic brakes disengage. I can creep along or I can put a full throttle and you can see the chair pick up. I can go reverse in this chair 
it has posi traction so I get a lot more kind of control in outside environments it, it literally turns on a dime here it's a very sensitive joystick I can do the same thing in the air hawk which I will do and I will demonstrate but I just wanted to show that you have a lot of possibilities and a lot of abilities when you are in a chair that has a Sensi Touch joystick because not every chair on the market has a Sensi Touch joystick. That's special technology. Getting out of the chair, very simple. I can push off, I can get out of the chair with no problem at all. So let's look at the Airhawk again. I'm going to put the Airhawk in power chair mode and I am going to straddle the footrest. I feel comfortable in the chair. Now, I will notice that the cushion on the Airhawk hits my back lower than it does with the, with the Phoenix. So as, as somebody that is more petite, you, the Airhawk is, is perhaps a very comfortable decision. For somebody who would be a larger structured person, it's my, my personal preference for comfort is a chair that's going to be a little bit higher up with the back. That's just my personal preference. So the Airhawk, and this is a great chair. I love the Airhawk, don't get me wrong. I can do the same thing in the Airhawk. I have a tremendous radius with the Airhawk. It's very easy for me to maneuver it around. I can turn the speed down. You can hear the electromagnetic brakes disengage. I can creep along in the air hawk, or I can go full throttle. So I can reverse, I can go forward. There's a lot that I can do. Now, I, I do want to point out that we are in Florida, and I don't know if you've been able to hear it in the video, but it's been thundering a bit. So instead of doing an entire set of measurements in this particular video, I'm going to save that for a separate video. So we will make more videos comparing the chair, but before I conclude the video, I do want to take a couple of key measurements. So I'm going to straddle the footrest, get out of the chair. You can see that it's easy for me to get out of the chair. And I do want to just demonstrate. The batteries are simple. The battery, if you're gonna plug the battery in or charge the battery, it charges outside of the chair. So I will demonstrate charging, which is a really important thing. And there's two things we've got this is 2022. This is new technology that we've started to implement on all of the chairs. So we have a smaller interface on the charger. And if we take a look at the joystick on the Airhawk here, you can close the charging port. I'm not going to close it. I'm going to keep it open. And this is this will not fit a universal charger. Now, there's a very valid reason to why they did this. People were going on big box websites and getting chargers that were designed for lead acid batteries and that were not chipped. And they were plugging them into these chairs that would accept a universal charger that has lithium ion batteries. And, and guess what? It, it, not, it just toasts the chair. And then people, they, they try to save a little bit of money and they end up costing themselves very expensive batteries or an electrical system in the chair. So they made a specific charger that will stop that type of behavior. So this fits in like a, a little key in a lock. You can see that there. And it's very simple. There's a little notch on the bottom there. It, it plugs right in. So you know if you're getting a, a mid to late 2022 Airhawk, these are really brand new with this technology. So some of the 2022 still have the universal charger. Um, but that's the way that it's going to look. And if we take a look at the Phoenix over here, I'll unlock this arm and kind of bring it up. We're looking at the same thing. So this, this same charger fits in the Phoenix. Now, I'm holding in my hand what's called a pigtail attachment. Some people lose these, and it's usually very frustrating when, when people lose them. Because what a pigtail attachment does is it allows you to plug into the charger directly into the battery. Now the problem is, you can guess, this comes with the Airhawk. The pigtail charger is now obsolete. So you have to plug the charger into the joystick and you have to plug 
the battery into the actual chair. So there's no more until this issue is resolved, and I'm sure it will be, there's no more plugging the battery directly into the chair. Now, they're very good at within usually a half year correcting these issues that come up, but let's take a look at the Phoenix. Let's look at the charging port there. They've already updated that charging port. So what I can do without the need for a pigtail attachment is I can plug that directly into the battery. So I can leave the chair in, in the car and I can charge the batteries outside of the chair itself. So that has a lot of use and a lot of utility here. So let's go ahead and just get this battery back in the chair. Now this one, it's simple. Contactless, I don't need to plug it in. It's, it's ready to go. Let's get this charger out of the way. And I do want to take at least just a couple measurements uh, we're going to basically measure the height from the ground to the cushion. We have about 19 and a half inches. And if we angle this to the front of the actual footrest, we've got about 19 inches. I know people are going to be asking for a lot more comparison measurements. That's exactly why I'm encouraging you to click the subscribe button. So you'll be notified as soon as we make that video and by the time you're watching this, if we've already made that video and many other videos, you'll have access to the entire library. So let's take a look here. We've got closer to 20 inches. We have a memory foam seat. We have a breathable fabric mesh, both chairs do. And we have about 19 inches of space. And of course the difference is this folds up flush, the other one doesn't. If we take a look at the front wheels, this one actually features the heavy duty wheels. Uh, they're both uh, tireless. And we see, you know, we've got some heavy duty casters here. You can accessorize the Phoenix with a leg extension kit, a headrest, and an attendant controller bracket. The Airhawk, look at the front casters. They're not as, as sturdy as they are with the Phoenix. We have the lighter weight wheels. Um, so these, these do not have the HD set up. You can accessorize it with a leg extension kit. You can accessorize it with a headrest on the back of the chair. It does have the reflective material. So both the, the Phoenix and the Airhawk do, do. There's a lot of safety measurements and precautions. And you can, of course, put an attendant controller bracket on the chair. Now, the last thing that I'm going to leave, because those clouds are starting to look like it's going to not only rain, but it's, it's going to start pouring is the last thing that will kind of leave the thought here is it is 2022 and at the time we're making this video just yesterday they made the announcement that it's officially a bear market so i know that people are being very cautious and very conservative about the money that they spend and the money that they hold on to i know that gas prices are creeping up it hurts every single one of us there's price issues. The Airhawk is just under $2,000. The Phoenix is just under $2,600. When you fill the car up at the gas pump, that stings while you're doing it, and then you have the utility of the car, and it's not gonna sting until you have to put additional money into the gas tank. When you're evaluating a chair, I'm, I'm not here to talk anybody into doing anything. That's, that's not how we do things on our channel. If you watched any of the videos, that's just not what we do. And I rarely talk about price, but I will talk about comfort. And I will talk about considering that this is going to be something that chances are, if you're getting one of these chairs, if you're just using it for a one-time thing and you're never going to use it again, and you want the cheapest thing, this is your chair, definitely. If, if you're more of a petite person and you don't have the issue with the footrest, this is your chair, definitely. If you don't have the issue with the batteries, this is your chair. The Airhawk is an exceptionally popular chair. A lot of people buy it. If you value comfort more, this is the chair. It stings just while you're spending that money. While you're making the decision in your mind, that's when it stings. That's when you're contemplating the extra $600. But the many, many, many hours that you're going to spend in the chair, using the chair, driving the chair, 
Getting in, getting out of the chair, pulling the chair up to tables, loading the chair. Those are the times that, and we've been doing this for quite a while, and for a long time it's just been the HD chairs that have been the option. People will call us and say, I think I got the wrong chair. You know, I was trying to save money and, and I got a chair that doesn't necessarily fit my needs, but I thought that it fit my budget at the time. How can I exchange the actual chair? So I hope that in the course of this video, what I've done is I've demonstrated and I've shown, I've, I've done the best of my possible ability to, to give the viewers here an actual feel of the chairs that we have. And just to give people something to think about. This is not just a snap decision to, to get one of these devices. These are FDA approved medical mobility devices. There's a lot of things to think about. We encourage you to give us a telephone call, to visit our website, to give us an email, to subscribe to this video, to leave a comment. And most importantly, I just thank you for allowing us to be part of your decision-making process and we wish you a great one.